Hi everyone, it's Paola. Welcome back to my channel, art and graphic design, and some other fun things. <laughs> it feels good to come back to a good old fashioned design project. So what I decided to do today was marketing and billboards and advertisements for the Metropolitan Museum of Art. I wanted to do it for an art gallery, art museum, and kind of make the marketing for it, like just in my own style, my own way, and just like a new fresh way, you know? I'm not gonna ramble on, let's just jump right into this project. So to get this project started, I went to Met Open Access. I've talked about this before, but if you don't know, the Met has an open access database where you can access a lot of their work on display and off display that are open public domain and you can just use their images and it's a great resource and I love that the Met has this. So I started out doing a bit of research there and searching specific things until I found a nice collection of images that I felt like would go for this project, like really into what I wanted to make it. I kind of wanted a sense of Renaissance in the style, not only in the images, I did look up some Renaissance images, but some of them were more modern and, you know, I had sculptures and I had some paintings from a little bit later centuries and I just wanted that whole aesthetic. Um, so that's kind of the inspiration. Now, I also downloaded mockups for this project to prepare and I went to Adobe Stock. That's where I got a couple of my templates and I really love the templates on Adobe Stock. I just am always using it. So then it was time to start designing once I did all of the prep work and brought everything into Photoshop. That's where I'm working today. And this is also my first design project using my monitor in this way on video. So I'm really excited to like show it to you because my desk and my workspace is just upgraded so much. I'm feeling so happy. So yeah, with my monitor, it just has a Thunderbolt connection and I've connected it to my laptop. So it's just a dual screen. I don't have a computer. I have just a desktop for my for my MacBook and then I, yeah, Thunderbolt connection and then I get like the display. Um, and then I just like love that I can turn it and stuff because I've turned it more toward the camera for you guys. It's just a so much better quality display, like 4K display compared to my Mac and just like screen recording. So yeah, if you like this style, definitely let me know. I'm also really happy with how it syncs the color modes from my MacBook. So yeah, definitely perfect for me as a designer and YouTuber. So. Yeah, that's kind of why I wanted your feedback, just to see how this video goes. <laughs> but anyway, back to what I was designing. So I opened everything in Photoshop and I got to work on the posters first. So this mock-up had three posters and the great thing about this mock-up is that it had the dimensions. So I just started working based off of the dimensions that were written on there so that it would fit perfectly. So I kind of designed to mock-up for this project. Um, I didn't really design it to then later put it in anything. I designed it specifically for these mock-ups because I thought they looked so amazing, just like for a really cool project. So the first idea I had was to put the word met, <laughs> so the letters M, E, and T on the three different posters. So I found the images, I brought them in, the ones I downloaded, and I kind of played around with the order and the orientation, the sizing and all of that. So it was kind of like a one by one thing, but I interacted with all of them at the same time to kind of inform my next design. I used the typeface Bookmania. It's an Adobe fonts font, but I ended up kind of working with the glyphs and changing up the letter forms and also stretching it and really manipulating those letters. And I know some people don't like that, but I'm all about breaking the rules when it works for you and <laughs> the type rules, you know, they're laid out for you, but then you know, you gotta go, you gotta go a little crazy sometimes. So this one was definitely all about making sure everything was even, the same height and all of that once the letters were stretched and you know, you can sue me if you want, but I don't really care. And then I decided to erase the bottom of the letter form so they did kind of look like they were fading away. I really liked that look and I really liked how the pictures looked with like the white type on top of it. At first I thought I would do a gradient on the letters, but I just feel that this looked so much cooler and so much more like the style I was really going for. So bringing that all in was definitely like experimentation. I kind of just played around with it at first to see how it looked and it looked really, really good and I'm really happy with that. Um, I ended up flipping some of the letter, like the letter to the picture because I felt like it looked stronger in another way. Um, it looked a little too plain to have the T over the bust photo so i switched that up and it took up more space and i just loved the way it looked like that again even with different century pictures i'm still going for renaissance as my inspiration here and i i feel like it's working the next one was a little bit trickier it was a billboard so i ended up starting 
with the sizing it said and i started making this poster right so it was a billboard size and it did look a little off to me but i just kind of went with it to just experiment and i experimented with lots of different shapes i was trying to figure out you know what could look cool on a billboard in terms of like layering so do i want to layer color over top do i want to you know slash it do i want to make it rounded um i went with like this little rounded tube <laughs> cylinder shape and i started playing around with like the letter forms that i wanted to do and of course i wanted to keep consistency so i kept the same type and i started adding in the different elements now i didn't love it at this stage i was a little bit conflicted on what i wanted to do and i brought it into the mock-up itself and then that kind of helped me start actually designing it a little bit better. I feel that it needed to be designed in the mock-up because the sizing was a bit off and it kind of gave me more inspiration once I was looking at it back and forth, back and forth as the billboard itself and so going, okay, what does it need? What would it need to stand out as a big billboard? I ended up layering the type kind of really close together, again, still in that same typeface, and then that is the color of the Met logo red so i just used that red color and then i added in a little bit of different type and added in like plan your visit today like that type of stuff for the billboard something to bring your eyes in if you were walking by so yes that was a bit of a process with the billboard design it was very experimentational is that a word whoa that just came out of my mouth okay experimentational experimental experimental I'm dumb. Okay, so it was definitely experimental, but I feel that it definitely worked once I was going back and forth with like showing it on the billboard. It really helped me think, okay, you know what? I'm not gonna do this like super extra. I'm gonna do it really simple. And I feel like simple is definitely more my style. So that was that. The billboard looks great. I know that I'm breaking a lot of type rules here. I feel that people might not like it. I love breaking type rules because I do understand typography really well and I've worked in it for a really long time. I'm very, very experienced in typography, but I love breaking the rules when necessary, when I find necessary. And I love how this looked where they're touching, they're almost overlapping and it does look a little off, but it still brings you in. And last but not least was this other extra poster. So I didn't want to put the same posters from before in here um well obviously they couldn't really they didn't say met all together they, they have to interact with each other which i do like as a design choice but this one was going to stand alone so it had to be a bit different still with that same idea that same inspiration so i went with a shape i went with the, the cylinder shape kind of more oval shape that i wanted to do in the billboard that didn't work out so i brought the oval to this and i put some different text on it again with the same same energy same stretching you know and i put it's all waiting for you very much bringing a person in to go oh i want to go to this gallery i want to go to this art museum right so not that the met needs that but that's what i was going for and i added in that same text from the billboard into this poster just to remind people of what it's actually for like what museum you're wanting to go to when you're looking at this it's not so vague because i know that that sometimes works but for this, I definitely wanted it to be obvious about where you should be going. And that one just came really, really quick, really, really naturally. Loved it. And it, I think, went along with what I was doing before. I think they all are very cohesive, but they're very exciting. And I just loved this type of project, this mock-up project. It was just so fun. This one made me so happy, so I hope that you guys really liked it. Um, I really liked it, so let me know your thoughts. I know some of you might not be down in the comments for what I made, but that's okay. <laughs> but let me know your thoughts anyway, and especially like what specifically you liked and if you would do a project like this. And yeah, I encourage you to do a project like this because Met Open Access is there for anybody. So like go experiment and have fun with some like old paintings or sculptures and create your own collages, create your own art. It's really fun. I appreciate you so much. And I hope you subscribe if you haven't already. And please like this video. It really helps me in the algorithm when I get interactions and you know, view counts are down, all that. YouTube is crazy. So please interact with this video and I will see you in my next one. Okay, bye. Do, I'm gonna move this to the floor. Hold on. Oh, don't look at my pajama bottoms. Oh my god.